Welcome everybody to this week's edition of Valpo Basketball Weekly. It's brought to you by Lakeshore Bone and Joint Institute. Brandon Vickery with you. Glad to be joined via Zoom by the head coach of the Valpo Women's Basketball Program, Mary Evans. And coach, let's start with Friday night as we look back at this weekend. How special was it to complete a season sweep over a Drake program that's been so traditionally strong in the conference and to go on the road and to yet again overcome a double figure deficit in that win on Friday? Yeah, no, I thought it was it was a great game. It was a lot of fun. I thought our players, um, they played extremely hard. Um, you know, we got off to a little bit of a rough start. I thought mainly defensively. I didn't think, um, I thought we were pretty good offensively most of the night, but it was not um, not too pleased with our, our first half defensive effort. I thought we gave them a lot of looks in transition, um, but I thought we came out, we talked at halftime about being better defensively, and I thought they came out and had a really good second half. Um, defensively and and kept them from getting um, as many threes. I think they had seven in the first half. We held, we held them to two in the second. Um, I thought they did a good job rebounding the basketball. That's also something typically uh, Drake is very strong at getting quite a few offensive rebounds. I thought we did a pretty good job keeping them off the glass. Um, we turned them over. I thought we did a much better job than the home game of not turning the basketball over. We both had 20 turnovers at our place, and I thought we did a better job of taking care of the basketball. So um, I thought it was just a tremendous effort by our team. I'm really, really excited for this group of seniors, Kate, Grace, um, Carrie, you know, the, the, these kids that were on the team in year one when we went out there and, and lost by 20 or 30. Um, you know, that's quite a turnaround and quite an accomplishment for the, that group of young women. You mentioned Grace. Let's talk about her performance on Friday night, a 20-point double-double of 20 points, 11 rebounds, and, and six assists. Just what stood out to you about the way she played on Friday? I just her her uh, effort. I mean, she came in and her work was just unreal. I mean, every time we shot the basketball, she was going to the glass offensively. Um, she was flying around defensively. She was being extremely aggressive, um, attacking her matchup. And uh, she just, she really, she's giving us such an amazing spark coming off the bench. And, um, you know, I know it's sometimes hard to not start when you've been a starter, but man, I just think this team is so much better when she brings that energy and that scoring. Um, she really infuses that, that group um, with energy in it. She was tremendous on, on Friday night. I was really, really happy for her and really proud um, of the effort and energy she brought. Iowa trip is always a tough one for a lot of teams in the conference. And I think uh, though, once you get the first one, you want to get that second yeah. one. Let's talk about Sunday and maybe what you can improve upon yeah. the game at UNI and, how, and what you work on in practice this week after that one. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, we talk a lot about road trips and this conference is like we talk about a lot. It's really hard, um, you know, and we, we've talked at the beginning of the year about trying to take care of our home port um, and trying to sweep people here at home and, and trying to get splits on the road. And so, you know, we accomplished that goal of getting a win um, on that IR road swing. And it's, an, it's a tremendously difficult road swing on top of, you know, Drake and Northern Iowa being predominantly the best, you know, some of the better teams in our conference. They played two very different systems. Um, you know, so the prep for the, those games are, are pretty difficult and, and, and drastically different. So, you know, I thought we like the same amount of energy we played with on Friday. I just think we were a little flat yesterday. I think they jumped on us early. Um, I thought the game was extremely physical and we didn't match the physicality. Um, and so we've got to we've got to get better with that. We've got to talk about it. We've got to, I think it's more of a mentality than actually physically doing anything um, because we've shown we can be the tougher team. Um, so we just, I mean, we're going to address it today in practice. Um, we're going to try to wrap it up and put it to bed, and we're going to try to get ready for, for a home weekend um, where we're going to have to play a team that's very similar in Illinois State. And um, we've got to learn from Sunday so that we can go out and perform better on uh, Saturday uh, against Illinois State. And we've got to perform against a very uh, traditionally physical and tough Bradley team as well. So, um, you know, that's, the that's, that's one nice thing about the league is there are some similarities between teams. And you and I um, – you know, is, is, I believe, tied for first place right now with Illinois State and, uh, you know, SIU. And, and they're all very similar. They're physical. They're going to beat you up on the boards. Um, they're going to guard you and, and make you work for everything we get. And so we've got to figure out how to play um, in those situations. Um, we've got to be able to do it uh, two consecutive games because when we get to Moline, we're going to have to play three in a row and win three in a row if we want to win a championship. So we've got to figure that out this week. One highlight on Sunday was Carrie Weinman reaching the 1,000 point mark for her career. Just uh, what does she mean to the program? How nice was it to see her reach that milestone? 
Um, I'm really happy for her. I mean, that's a tremendous milestone for any collegiate basketball player. And, you know, Carrie played her freshman year at Denver, sat out here and is now um, played three years, is going to be finishing her third year. So to do it in a true four year season, um, you know, that's that's a tremendous accomplishment. It says a lot about uh, who she is as a basketball player. Um, you know, she's very She's a very gifted player. She can shoot the three. She gets to the rim. She's a great defender. Um, you know, I hated to see her go out this year with the injury, but I think she's starting to work herself back into that uh, normal carry form. And I think she showed that this weekend. Um, so just really, really happy for her. Um, excited that she was able to accomplish that goal. And, um, you know, I think she gets a lot of credit for that, but I think all the steals and the defensive pressure is just as important for this team as what she does offensively. You touched a little bit already on the opponents for this weekend. Bradley's coming off a win over Evansville, and then you have an outstanding Illinois State team atop the conference. You've played both teams before. What more can you tell us about the matchups this weekend? Yeah, I mean, Bradley's young. They obviously had a, a, an injury that has uh, changed their team quite a bit, losing Gabby, um, but they are talented. They've got very young, talented players, um, young freshmen. They've got some transfers. Um, in the post. And, and I think, you know, they're a team that just continues to get better. And, and it sounds like, you know, they come to practice every day and they're growing. And I think they're going to be a very different team than we saw in Peoria a couple of weeks ago. And, um, you know, we've got to do a good job with on their point guard. She really hurt us there. She's uh, really aggressive, creates for her teammates, can also score herself. They've got a very talented shooter uh, on the perimeter and they've got bigs inside that we've got to make sure we're being physical with and that we're keeping off the glass. And uh, it'll be a tough game for sure. Valpo home Thursday and Saturday this week. We hope to see everyone out at the arc for uh, ticket information, valpoathletics.com slash tickets. It's been Valpo Basketball Weekly and it's brought to you by our friends at Lakeshore Bone and Joint Institute.